Hello everyone, we are continuing our coverage of this amazing 53.5 family of models from Microsoft which was released around 5 hours ago. Just a couple of hours back, I did review the model 53.5 Instruct and you can check it out on my channel. In this video, we are going to look at 53.5 Vision model which means that it's a multimodal model which you can use for image to text conversion or you can simply chat with your own images. In this video we are going to install it locally and then we are going to test it out on various benchmarks. Before I show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. So let's go back to our vision model. So this 53.5 vision is a lightweight state of the art open multimodal model built upon data sets which include filtered publicly available website synthetic data and the focus is on very very high quality reasoning dense data both for vision and text. This multimodal version has context length of 128k which is quite good and that is in tokens by the way. The model has underwent a rigorous enhancement process. It is a very censored model so very much suitable for your production environments. It incorporates both supervised fine tuning and direct preference optimization to ensure precise instruction following and robust safety measures. Other than that, the model is intended for memory and compute constraint environment. If you are having issues with latency, maybe this is a good choice. If you are looking for some model in smallish size for general image understanding, OCR, chart or table understanding at a basic level, then this might be a good choice. Even it can do some multiple image comparison or you can even go through a video frame by frame after converting it into images of course. So this model looks really cool to me. It has got around 4.2 billion parameters and it contains image encoder, connector, projector and of course a mini language model. It is multimodal so it can support both text and images. ChatML is the recommended prompt. It was trained for 6 days by Microsoft by using 256 A100 GPU cards each with 80 GB of VRAM. The training data consisted of 500 billion tokens which contained both images and text tokens. Also this was trained just uh, last month around July mainly and then bit in August. It's a static model with a uh, cut, cut off deadline for training data around March 15, 2024. So fairly recent if you compare it to other models. Okay, so enough talk. Let's go and try to get it installed and then see how it works. This is my Ubuntu terminal which um, Ubuntu 22.04 and that is my GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy masked compute. Let me clear the screen and then we will get cracking. Let me first activate my, um, not this one, Conda environment. So I'm just going to say Conda activate file and that is going to activate my Conda environment. Let me clear the screen and I'm using the same Conda environment from my last video. But if you have just started following, make sure that you run this command uh, to install torch, transformers, accelerate and this stuff. I already have it installed so I am not going to install it again but what I am going to install for this particular video is this numpy pillow request and torch vision. So let me run it. It is going to take a bit of a time. Oh, that's all done. Cool. Let's launch our Jupyter Notebook that is going to be launched in the browser so that we could download the model. It is almost there. Let's click on file, new and notebook. And there we have our Jupyter notebook. Let's import some of the libraries which we have installed such as IPython transformers and all that stuff. So, and also I'm specifying the model here. Next up, let's grab our model. 
Now, one thing to be noted here is that if you have flash attention, then use this. Otherwise, if you don't have it installed, simply use eager here. So I already have it installed, so I'm not going to use eager here. Let me run it. It is going to download the model and put it, put it in our CUDA GPU device. And you can see that it has started downloading the model and it has just two shards. So, so for a vision model, having just two shards is very welcoming thing. Let's wait for it to get downloaded. So the model is downloaded and it's also now loaded onto my GPU. Let's see how can we talk with an image. Now, after the model download, let's see how you can do the inference with it. So first up, we are just initializing our image processor, which is going to do the number of crops four from the image. You can increase it if you have a bigger GPU card. And then this is a slide tag from SlideShare, which I'm using as a sample. And it just describes introduction to Microsoft Azure Cloud. You can use your own slide deck in the JPG format. And then there are multiple images. So basically, we are trying to um, get the description of multiple images in one go in this loop. You can just simplify it by providing only one image. And then we are just uh, appending all the images to this list or array here. And then this is a prompt template which we are using where we are asking it to summarize the deck of the slides from that image. And then we are using the processor to tokenize our text into, which means that to convert text into numerical representation. And then we are getting the input ready. Afterwards, we are specifying some of the hyperparameters to control the output of the model with temperature and all that stuff. And then we are asking the model to generate the output and those outputs are being converted back to the uh, text with the help of tokenizer. So let me run it and this is going to take a bit of a time because it just goes through all the images and then will summarize the slide deck. So let's wait for it to come back. And this is the slide deck which it is processing at the moment. As you can see that there are multiple images of it um, with some diagrams, with some tables and all that stuff. It is going through one by one and then processing it. So this example not only encompasses the image understanding, but also OCR and all the other techniques. So if I go back here, there you go. So it already has done it. So it is just telling us that introduction to Azure cloud computing models and all the rest of the slides which we have here. And then it is going go on and on and just gives you a synopsis, a summary of each slide after reading through the images. So pretty good. I mean, uh, I believe one of the really good models I have seen in terms of vision and if you just consider its small size this is simply sublime. Now that example was with a URL for a remote image. Now let me show you how you can chat with your own images stored locally. Let me paste the code here. So the change which I have made is that I'm just giving it the path to one of the images locally stored. And then this is a prompt template it needs where we have this um, a tag on it and I'm just asking it to describe the image. I'm only using image one. If you want, as I showed you earlier, you can use multiple images. And from there, all the rest of it is same where we are passing the image and getting the response back. So let me run this. And then while it runs, let me show you how this one.png image looks like on my local system. So this is my local system. So this is one of my YouTube thumbnail where there is a text and then uh, Microsoft's logo. Let's see what it does. Let's go back. Let's see if it finished or not. It has finished. Let's, there you go. So it says the image features a bright yellow background. Yes, with a person pointing to the right. The person's face is blurred. Not really. Above the person there is the text in black that reads how to create synthetic data set with LLM locally. That is totally correct. Below the person, there is a Microsoft logo. Amazing stuff. Really good stuff. Okay, so let's try out. Maybe I'll just go with this one. So you see it is just a scenery where there are three kangaroos. There are a few, you know, flock of birds on the top right. And there is a solitary tree with a sunset or sunrise. Let's try it out. So let me... 48.png let me go 
back here and put the image so I have given this image and it has already processed it let's go down so it says the image depicts a serene sunset scene with a large tree on the left a group of birds flying in the sky and two kangaroos in the foreground so this is where it has I think got it wrong because there are three kangaroos other than that I think it is perfectly fine okay so let's try out one OCR one and I believe I already have the OCR example here this is the OCR example let me quickly show you this OCR example contains a lot of stuff English French German some uh, alphanumeric characters some omelouts and stuff so let's see what it does here and there you go so we have given it OCR.png and there you go so it has I don't think so it has given me the text but it has just described it so as per my own com um, prompt it is just telling me that there are English and Spanish words the text is about a quick brown fox and all that stuff let me change the prompt and instead of asking it describe the image I'll just say OCR OCR this image oh, okay let me OCR this image and print all the text in image as is let's try it out there you go so what I'm trying to do here I'm just trying to see what is the instruction following so let me show you the image again or maybe I'll just put it here okay now if you compare it so you see most of it it has gotten it right first and foremost it has followed my prompt which is really good so instruction following as per model card that is really lives up to its name and then you see that it has um, for example you, with this Chanel there are two commas which is cool and then it has also tried to put that omelette on Rapidos A which is cool and also here so I would say that it is awesome I think I don't find any issues with it maybe here and there a little bit but other than that I don't really see any issues at all so perfect OCR so really happy with it okay let's try to ask it maybe um, instead of OCR we'll just go and try to see how can it um, sorry how can it identify the location or not so maybe I'll just go with 6.png so I'm just going to ask it where is this location maybe it would know because normally it is an Australian outback with a red soil so let's see if it is able to do that so I have put in the image and I'm asking it what is the location in this image take your best guess about the country let's see it says the image shows a desert landscape with red sand sparse vegetation and a clear sky the presence of a small tree and it could be desert region however without distinctive landmarks it, so it is unable to do that but there you go such as American Southwest parts of <clears throat> Australia or the Sahara I think that is really good I mean instead of just very um, you know spot on answer like you know, this is Australia or Sahara it has given us few options which is really cool so that's it guys I believe that this is one of the best vision model in such a small size which I have seen I would say this month so uh, and 53.5 lives up to its name and repetition very high quality very good instruction following so I would say it's really a great model let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching